Good evening, and thank you for joining me for Evening Prayer 2 for the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Lord, is a priest forever, like Melchizedek of old. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the streams by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ our Lord is a priest forever, like Melchizedek of old. Alleluia. God dwells in highest heaven. He has power to do all he wills. Alleluia. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory. For the sake of your love and your truth, lest the heathens say, Where is their God? But our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot smell, hear. They have nostrils, but they cannot smell. With their hands, they cannot feel. With their feet, they cannot walk. No sound comes from their throats. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Aaron trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear him trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. He remembers us, and he will bless us. He will bless the sons of Israel. He will bless the sons of Aaron. The Lord will bless those who fear him, the little no less than the great. To you may the Lord grant increase, to you and all your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, and the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to men. The dead shall not praise the Lord, nor those who go down into the silence. But we who live bless the Lord now and forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God dwells in the highest heaven. He has the power to do all he wills. Alleluia. Praise God, all you who serve him, both great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia. Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia, sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord, our all-powerful God, is king. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia, the wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Alleluia, glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise God, all you who serve him, both great and small. Alleluia. A reading from the second letter to the Thessalonians. We are bound to thank God for you always, beloved brothers in the Lord, because you are the first fruits of those whom God has chosen for salvation in holiness of spirit and fidelity to truth. He called you through our preaching of the good news so that you might achieve the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is great, mighty is his power. The Lord is great, mighty is his power. His wisdom is beyond compare. Mighty is his power. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Lord is great, mighty is his power. So great a harvest, and so few to gather it in. Pray to the Lord of the harvest to beg him to send laborers out for his harvest. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. 
He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So great a harvest, and so few to gather it in. Pray to the Lord of the harvest. Beg him to send out laborers for his harvest. All power and honor to Christ. He lives forever to intercede for us, and he is able to save those who approach the Father in his name. Sustained by our faith, let us call upon him. Remember your people, Lord. As the day draws to a close, Son of Justice, we invoke your name upon the whole human race, so that all people may enjoy your never-failing light. Remember your people, Lord. Preserve the covenant which you have ratified in your blood. Cleanse and sanctify your church. Remember your people, Lord. Remember your assembly, Lord, your dwelling place. Remember your people, Lord. Guide travelers along the path of peace and prosperity so that they may reach their destinations in safety and joy. Remember your people, Lord. Receive the souls of the dead. Lord, grant them your favor and the gift of eternal glory. Remember your people, Lord. I invite you now at this time to add your own prayers and petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue our prayer for the safety of our firefighters battling the wildfires here in Arizona and throughout the Southwest and the nation. May they be kept safe from harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also continue our prayers for the recovery efforts being made in the building collapse in, in Florida and for the consolation of the families mourning the loss of their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayer and praises in one. Let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raise the fallen world. Free us from sin and bring us to the joy that lasts forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer this morning, or sorry, for evening prayer this evening. Uh, we will have night prayer at 8.30.